Josephine Hensley became the largest landowner in Montana's red light district. Josephine Hensley became the largest landowner in Montana's red light district. Mother Damable's body turned into stone. Mary and Conklin, or Mother Damable, as she was more commonly known, managed a hotel and brothel in Seattle. She could curse like a sailor in English, French, Spanish, German, Portuguese, and Chinese. Conklin passed in 1873 and was buried in Seattle Cemetery. Years later, the bodies in the cemetery were moved to make room for a park. According to legend, when Conklin's body was dug up, it was incredibly heavy. Curious, the workers opened the coffin and found that her body had completely turned to stone. Schooltooth Alice kept prairie dogs as pets. Mary Elizabeth Libby Haley Thompson or Squirrel Tooth Alice, as she was more commonly known because of the gap in her teeth and her love of prairie dogs, had a traumatic youth. She was taken by Comanche when she was 10 years old and remained with the tribe for three years. Though her family paid the ransom fee and had her returned, she was shunned by society thereafter, with the exception of an older man who took an interest in her. He wanted to marry Thompson, but her father did not like the match, so he shunned and disposed of the suitor. After that incident, Thompson ran away from home and worked at several establishments as a dance hall girl and a sex worker. She eventually opened her own place when she and her husband settled down in Sweetwater, TX. Dora Duffer became a madam at 15. Dora Duffer became a madam at 15. Julia Bulet was the original sex worker with a heart of gold. Julia Bulet was the original sex worker with a heart of gold. Mary Ellen Pleasant was an abolitionist hero. Molly Johnson was a tabloid superstar. Molly Johnson was a tabloid superstar. Big Nose Cake broke Doc Holliday out of jail. Big Nose Cake broke Doc Holliday out of jail. Fanny Porter entertained Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid at her brothel. Fanny Porter entertained Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid at her brothel. Lena Dumont chased down a man who swindled her and threatened him with a shotgun. Like any true entrepreneur, Elena Dumont saw opportunity wherever she went. She opened several successful gaming parlors in California, offering a rarity during the time a respectable lady dealer. Her parlor, Big It Up, was finely furnished, served champagne instead of whiskey, and only accepted the patronage of well-dressed gentlemen. It was hugely popular, but men lost interest as Dumont's beauty waned, and more women began to fill the camps. The gold ran dry, and the crowds cleared out. Dumont bought a ranch. During this time, she fell in love with a handsome, silver-tongued man named Jack Manite. Dumont fell head over heels for the man, unfortunately. Manite was a con artist and he ended up taking all of her hard-earned money and selling her ranch, leaving Dumont completely destitute. Not one to take that type of treatment from anyone, she chased down her former lover with a shotgun and ended his life. In need of money, she began to set up gambling tables at mining camps. It's said that she met Calamity Jane at one of these camps and tried to teach the famous frontiers woman how to play poker. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments. 
down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then take care bye